Hey, what's up, Moto Buddies? Occasionally on the 501 and 500 groups, you'll hear people ask if they can get rid of the key or remove the key on the EXC bikes. This one right here happens to be a 2015. And this little plug right here is the key. And so here's how secure your bike is with a key. If you were to, if I'm a bad guy and I unplug the key, which is connected here, and I jumper two of the wires together into this plug, and just for security reasons, I won't bother to tell you which two wires you would jumper together to effectively emulate the key, but let's just say you jumpered two of the wires together in here, you would bypass the key. That's your key right there. So that's how secure your bike is. Unplug, paper clip between two of these different colored wires here, and then I'm going to ride your bike away. So there's a much, much better way to do that. Uh, to secure your bike. So what uh, we have here is this is a little key switch eliminator made by Sick Ass Racing and this plugs into a particular harness connection right here and that you'll see these same cud wire the orange right here see that orange and white it goes in and out of here so essentially this makes up the circuit that completes the key switch and so the key no longer is needed on this bike it operates without it. But how do we secure this bike if we want to have some sort of electrical default to prevent the bike from being started? Let me demonstrate that to you on this wire. So this is the stock loom. Every bike, every EXC bike has this little white wire with the gray stripe on it. White and gray. It's got a female bullet point connector here. If you were to wire in, I'm going to expose this here. If you were to wire in a switch any kind of switch, push button, toggle, it doesn't matter. Some sort of switch that would um, take this circuit to ground, you effectively uh, disable your ignition system. This is the same circuit as the kill switch. So when you press the kill switch on your bike, this is also the same circuit. You have interrupted and shorted to ground your coil and your bike won't start. Your bike will die if you're on a kill switch. Uh, you won't start if you have this connected to ground. So I'm going to start this machine up. Bike dies. So if I had that wired into a hidden switch, some sort of switch then that would send that to ground, when the switch is on in the on position, the bike will not start. The ignition uh, is defaulted. And then when I throw that secret hidden switch, I can now start the bike. So let me do that for you one more time. Just go to chassis ground and the bike dies. Now if I jam this in here, I wish I would have thought of this before, but if I send that to ground, I think it's wedged in there. No, anyway, you get the idea. If this is connected to ground, bike won't start. So much, much more secure than having a key. The key is kind of a joke. It's only there because of DOT, federal regulations. This is how you secure your bike if you really want to interrupt your ignition. All right, boys, go out and get some adventure.